Hey guys, it's Ash here with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 20 biggest victories of Ash Ketchum. Number 20. This is Volkner. Volkner has remained a fan favorite over the years for many reasons. He's always been on the cusp of greatness, and so when Ash faced him one-on-one, -on -one, we thought it could have gone either way. Despite being an electric-focused trainer, Volkner is by no means a one-trick pony, as proven when he gave Ash's Pikachu, Lucario, and Gengar a run for their money. In the end, it came down to Pikachu and Electivire as Ash's yellow sidekick was able to take him down with a shocking Z-move. Number 19. Defeating Guzma The Alolan tournament was packed with some major competition for Pallet Town's favorite son, and none were quite as intimidating as Guzma. Ash met the Team Skull leader in the semi-finals of the tournaments with a 2 vs 2 battle that saw them bring out their best. Despite Guzma's switching in and out tactics, Toracat was able to dispatch Caesar effortlessly with a well-timed fire blast. But it was when Glycopod stepped up that things really became difficult for our hero. This was a major test for Ash and Pikachu, whose battle with Guzma earlier in the series ended with Glycopod refusing to battle such a weak opponent. Thankfully, this time around, Ash was able to employ all his lessons learned in the Alola region to finally prove they weren't such weaklings after all. <laughs> Number 18. Maiming Misty When you think of travel companions, Misty is probably the first girl who comes to mind. This battle has much more weight to it than you may initially think. Misty returned to the anime during the Sun and Moon series, challenging Ash to a one-on-one. -on -one. With her mega-evolved Gyarados leading the charge, we really saw just how much she grew as a fighter. But of course, Ash has not been slacking over the years, which he proved in style when Pikachu was able to topple the titanic creature. Feel free to shed a tear over how far these two have come. Number 17, beating Corina. Low sweep, go! Way to hang in there! This may be just another gym battle to some, but what really makes this battle stand out is the fact that Ash was able to face a mega evolved Pokemon and still come out on top. Facing off against the leader of Shallow City's gym, Ash was prepared to face Karina's MVP Pokemon, but he had to get past Mian Fu and Machoke first, which is no easy task. <laughs> the efforts of Horlucha and Fletchender got it down to sudden death between Pikachu and the insanely powerful Mega Evolved Lucario. In what many consider to be the best battle in X and Y, Sparks flew across the arena. Pikachu finished up the battle with a hellacious Thunderbolt, earning Ash the coveted Rumble Badge. <laughs> Number 16. Trouncing Trip 
You ready, Trip? <laughs> of course. Now let's just see how much stronger you are. All right, battle begin! Ash has quite a habit of making rivals throughout his journeys in different regions, and Trip was that dude in the Unova region. Considered by many to be Ash's worst rival to date, everyone was rallying behind Ketchum to make quick work of his rival in the Unova Pokemon League tournament, and that he did. This time we won't miss! Coming down to a tooth and nail brawl between Pikachu and Superior, this match was chock full of explosions. But when the dust settled, Pikachu was the one still standing. Wait a minute. So what's up with Superior? <laughs> Superior is unable to battle. Pikachu wins. This was sweet revenge for Ash after losing to Trip in the Junior Cup. And the fact that this was the first round of the tournament is just the cherry on top of the Vanillux. All right, huh? so let's both give it our best. Hmm. Number 15, Bashing Blaine. A match against a simple gym leader making it this high on our list? You best believe it. Ash's battle with Blaine was a real turning point in his career as a Pokemon trainer. It was the first time we saw him truly learn from his mistakes and adapt to battle. especially after failing to defeat him the first time. For many, this climactic clash between Magmar and Charizard is their favorite Pokemon moment, and it's easy to see why. <laughs> Number 14, teaming up to take down Lysander. None of you will be needed in the new world I'm creating. Needed or not needed? Who are you to make that decision? Hey, we never said ganging up on someone was out of the question. When the evil leader of Team Flare, Lysander, finally initiated his wicked plan, it was up to the tournament finalists, Ash and Alan, to put a stop to him. All right, Pyroar, use fire ring! This wasn't going to be easy, because Lysander was packing a mean Pyroar and Mega Gyarados in his arsenal. Lysander seemed nigh unbeatable with his ferocious Pokemon, but the young Dream Team brought the fight back and then some. Pikachu, Thunderbolt, go! Pikachu! While it may not be Ash's most fair battle, the fact he was able to save the world counts for something, right? Number 13, Mauling Marnie. This fight was just incredible. The Pokemon Journey series has been host to many awesome battles for Ash, and his clash with fan favorite Moni was no exception. In the battle between two sinister creatures, Grimmsnarl and Gengar, we didn't think it could get any more intense. Until, of course, the two busted out their Gigantamax forms. Seeing these two colossuses wail on each other was phenomenal, and proof that Ash can adapt to any and all situations. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Number 12, overpowering a legendary. What? Dodged. <laughs> we all love a good underdog fight. And what can exemplify that more than a humble starter taking on a legendary bird? <gasps> Nolan was introduced as one of the most powerful frontier brains about, boasting a team that included an Articuno. Despite having a type advantage, there's just no comparing a regular Pokemon to a legendary one, so this was an insanely tough battle for Ash's Charizard. Eventually, though, he was able to bust out the seismic toss, and Noland conceded defeat, awarding Ash with a knowledge symbol to prove his victory. Number 11, winning the Orange League. After Ash's heartbreaking loss to Richie in the Indigo League, he sought redemption by running through the Orange Islands with his woes. 
His final hurdle would be taking on the leader of the Supreme Gym, Drake, who made sure Ash worked damn hard for the trophy. Most terrifying of all was his powerhouse of a Dragonite, which was able to take down several of Ash's Pokemon in succession. This brought it down to Pikachu who, despite seemingly impossible odds, was able to bring down the Brute with a point-blank thunder. This marked Ash's first major victory as he claimed the prize of champion of the Orange Islands. Just wait till Brock hears about this. Number 10, Eradicating Iris. Ash and Iris have clashed on more than one occasion, so it's quite hard to pick which of the decisive victories is the most impressive. For our money though, Ash's rematch against his former traveling companion during journeys is, as she's at her best as a well-established champion of the Unova region. With her fearsome Haxorus as her combatant of choice, Ash fought with Iris' specialty, bringing out his Dragonite. In a clash that literally tore the roof off, Ash was able to outdragon the Dragon Master. Number 9. Silencing Sawyer. You Say what you will about this pint-sized trainer, but he was one hell of a challenge for Ash. Facing off in the semi-final round of the Kalos League, Ash would have to bring out his best against the genius-level Pokemon trainer, Sawyer. With incredible showings from the likes of Salamence and Aegislash, things looked absolutely hopeless for Ash's humble team. Thunderbolt! The fight would be decided in a nail-biter between Greninja and the Mega Evolved Sceptile, a major type disadvantage for Ash, but one he was able to pull off nonetheless. An absolute spectacle of a fight, this victory against his Kalos rival brought Ash a tournament final for the first time, which of course he lost. But hey, good effort, mate. I'll never give up. We'll battle again, right? Number 8. Pounding Paul. Paul, there's nobody like you. That's why I'm gonna win this! <laughs> Paul was less of a rival and more the antithesis of Ash with his ruthless disregard for his Pokemon. While Ash had always preached friendship with his partners, Paul was always focused on power, and power is definitely what he brought in this Sinnoh League contest. Get out, Pikachu! This battle is still one of Ash's biggest to date, taking place over three episodes of pure action and coming to a head with Electivire vs. Infernape. Protect! It was a majorly cathartic victory, as the Chimchar Paul had once deemed expendable was the one to give him the boot out of the tournament. How's that for karma? Number 7. Stomping Steven Steven has always made his presence known in the Pokemon series. Whether he was strutting around as the champion of Hoenn or putting Alan in his place, we were made well aware of how powerful Steven was. While Dracovish and Gengar had impressive showings in this battle, Pikachu was the real MVP. Facing off against Steven's intimidating mega-evolved Metagross, Pikachu sent an endless barrage of electric attacks his way until he was completely overwhelmed. Pikachu! 
Number six, Grounding Gary. Grab him by the horn! Oh no! They stopped Toros in its tracks! This one will mean a lot to anyone who started watching the show from day one. Gary Oak always seemed to be one step ahead of our hero throughout their rivalry, but this was Ash's first chance to prove that wrong. Magmar is hit by the most powerful Pokemon attack! Magmar! The two met in the Johto Victory League first round, where we saw absolute slobber knockers between the likes of Heracross and Magmar, and Caesar and Snorlax. But the winner would be decided between Ash's Charizard and Gary's starter Pokemon, Blastoise. Another terrible typing matchup for our boy. Charizard's too close! Blastoise can't aim with his Hydro Cannons! Use Dragon Rage! <laughs> Dodge it! Quick! Blastoise! But shockingly, it was Charizard who stood on top, proving that Ash truly was Pallet Town's best, and putting an end to their legendary rivalry. Number 5. Masked Royal Mayhem After holding up the trophy in Alola, there was only one challenge left for our hero, taking down the most popular fighter, Masked Royal. The man behind the mask was none other than Professor Kukui, meaning this exhibition match carried a lot of emotional weight. It's one of the longest battles in the series, with huge surprises around every turn. We thought it was all over when Tapu Koko turned up to assist Kukui, but Ash and Pikachu were able to combine their efforts with an incredible Z maneuver. <laughs> Number 4. Battle Frontier Victory Bulbasaur, Razor Leaf, let's go! Let's Dustclop, stand strong! Having once again lost the Pokemon League in the Hoenn region, it was time for Ash to prove why he was the main character of the goddamn show. After all, it's no fun watching someone lose over and over. The best course of action? Taking on the frontier brains of the Battle Frontier and their incredibly powerful Pokemon. While his matches against Lucy, Tucker, and Greta were all impressive, it was his climactic showdown against Brandon that proved to be the most challenging. Able to dispatch Brandon's Regice with all reliable Pikachu, this was validation once again for Ash and his competency as a Pokemon trainer. Regice! Regice is unable to battle! And so the winner is Ash of Palatown! Yeah! Number 3 Surviving Cynthia. Ash should come face to face with Cynthia way back in the Diamond and Pearl series. When we watched her absolutely eviscerate Paul, we thought it would be impossible for Ash to ever reach that level. Well, he did, and boy were we proud. Facing off in the semi-finals against the champion of Sinnoh, Ash brought out the best in Lucario's abilities in the closing moments. We watched with bated breath as both Garchomp and Lucario lay on the ground and cheered our lungs out when it was Lucario who stood up first. Now all he had to do was conquer the champion. Number 2, the Alolan League champion. Battle. Start off. It took 22 years, but it finally happened. It was an unwritten rule in anime that Ash always loses the Pokemon League, no matter what. But hell finally froze over when Ash faced off against Gladeon in the Alola League Finals. A relatively humble tournament by normal standards, this battle nevertheless proved to be one of Ash's best, opening with Silvali vs Melmetal. When this proved to be too much, Pikachu evened the odds by finishing off Silvali and bringing Gladeon Zoroark to a draw. Surprisingly, the decisive battle was Lycanroc vs Lycanroc, with Ashes pulling off the W.
This marked the very first time Ash had ever won a Pokemon League, proving we all grow up someday. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. World Champion As impressive as that last win was, nothing compares to becoming the world champion of Pokemon. When we saw the tournament brackets, we thought there was no way Ash would make it past the first round, let alone win the whole thing. Facing off against the reigning champion Leon, Ash pulled off his most impressive performance in over a thousand episodes. Unsurprisingly, the clash came down to Pikachu vs Charizard, a sort of parallel to his first league loss against Richie. Our jaws dropped when he finally cemented himself as the very best, like no one ever was. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.